In this video, we will calculate y1 comma y2 at x is equal to 1 using explicit Euler's method. The formula right here is explicit Euler's method. And so let's get started. So I want to solve y1 when x is equal to 1 and y2 when x is equal to 1. So one thing can be is this, y1 parentheses 1. This will equal, so if i is 0, we put a 0 here, we put a 0 here. This way, we would get 1, right? And that's, that's what we're trying to solve for. And we also know the value when um, x is 0. It's going to be this. So this is going to be y1 parentheses 0, which would ultimately be 2 plus um, this equation right here, f parentheses xi, xi is the value we know, which is 0, comma yi, when x is 0, y is 2, so comma 2. And the change in x, the step size, says it's 1, so times 1. This will equal, so this right here we said it was 2, plus we have 0 comma 2. 0 is for x, 2 is for y. And so we put it in this equation right here. So we would get, so x is 0, so 0 times yi. yi we know would be 2. So times 2 minus 3 times y2 y2 would be this number right here, which is 1, so times 1, and multiply our step size. So we would get negative 1, and this is the value for y1. And now we will do y2. So same idea. So if you want, you can even pause the video here and attempt to solve this problem. So let's get started. We'll get y2 parentheses 1 and that's going to equal to y2 parentheses 0 plus f parentheses x was 0 for both of these, so 0, comma, when x is 0, y2 would be 1. So comma 1 times our step size, which is 1. And when y2 is 0, we get 1. So this becomes 1 right here, and 0, comma 1. So we will plug it back into that equation. So we would get parentheses 3 times y1. y1 would be 2, so 3 times 2, minus x squared. x we said was 0, so 0 squared times y2, which is 1. So times 1, and multiply this by the step size, which was 1. So we would get, so this right here is 1 plus... Uh, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 0 times 1 is 0, so minus 0 times 1. So we get 1 plus 6, and so the final answer for y to 1 would be 7. And that's all we need to do for this problem.